Good morning, everyone. We thank you for joining us for the PIX11 Morning News. It is Thursday, September 24th. I'm John Muller. Good morning. I'm Vanessa Freeman. We do start you off on this Thursday morning with a look at your weather and traffic with Jill Nicolini. Good morning, Jill. Good morning, everyone. Technically, it is unseasonably warm right now, mm -hmm. right? Second day of fall. Temperatures here in the 60s, starting out 64 in the city. Armonk at 60, 53 in Lindenhurst. Currently, your satellite radar looks pretty good. We have some high uh, pressure uh, rolling on in some high clouds. Uh, low pressure will pass through the south of us today. Therefore, we will see some mix of sun and clouds for the day. As far as your day planner, though, beautiful. Lazio announcing even more city workers will be furloughed. He says it's the only way to help close a $9 billion deficit without federal stimulus. Will work, but a virtual ball drop? What a year this is, yeah, right? You know, it makes sense because the majority of, of, the peop of people who watch the ball drop are watching it from their couches anyway. Good so you point. might as well just, I mean, it's, good point. Yeah. yeah. Live stream the whole thing. I know I've always Thank watched you. it virtually. You, you helped me wrap my mind <laughs> Technically. around it. Yeah. Thanks, Vanessa. And we'll stay warm. There yes, you we go. Will. And there's a bathroom and snacks. Yes. It's all good. No crowds. President Trump raising eyebrows with comments he made about the peaceful transition of power. Coronavirus concerns in our area. Yesterday, we told you about an uptick in cases in some New York City neighborhoods. But now New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy is pointing out some troubling statistics in his state. PIX 11's Katie Corrado is live in Dumont with more on this. Good morning, Katie. Good morning, Vanessa. A mobile testing center will be here at Dumont High School today to test area teachers who are back in their classrooms. Starting on Monday, testing will resume for all Bergen County residents. A reminder that we are heading into the colder months, and this is especially concerning since some of the key COVID-19. Oh, yeah. Huge fans. I feel like every time I think about my taxes, my emotional wellness goes down a notch <laughs> for New Jersey. That That is surprising. Emotional well-being. Yeah, we both are from the state with the highest emotional emotional well-being. Yeah, there we go. Go figure. <laughs> Planning a trip for Hawaii. To that Hawaii sounds like a soon. plan. Yes. Yes. All right. Stay with us from the best state for happiness to the best city for coffee. A new survey shows where you can find the most delicious cup of joe. How many businesses are struggling to survive the coronavirus pandemic? Among them, New York's oldest dojo. The owners are holding out hope. Thanks to ways. We'll start with the Cross Bronx Expressway. There's a crash westbound right at the Bronx River Parkway. You can see it's a few days. All right, checking in with the George Washington Bridge. Traffic conditions not too shabby themselves. Here at the George, you have about a 20-minute wait inbound upper or lower level.